I thought that I would be in Teaneck forever. At one time, she was the mayor of Teaneck. But as Jacqueline Cates and her husband eventually wanted the downsize, they discovered the town didn't have much to offer them. We moved 10 years ago, and it really broke my heart. I lived in Teaneck for 57 years. Between more senior housing and longer timing at crosswalks, the town has become more age-friendly, and some on the state level took notice. On Thursday, the Department of Human Services released what they call an age-friendly blueprint, a starting point, they call it, to get people, towns, and businesses thinking about ways they can make life better for older New Jerseyans. It is not a problem to solve, but a chance to rethink how we want to live, work, and engage in our communities throughout a lifespan. Outside of the bigger issues, like making housing more affordable, some of the Blueprint's recommendations include improving mental health, helping fitness centers provide more programming for seniors, and involving seniors more in the arts. But seniors who spoke to PIX11 News ranked transportation high on the list. In many suburbs, if you um, can't drive, you're, you're really um, isolated. Sarah Diaz lives in Teaneck's Brookdale Senior Housing Complex. She says she's had to rely on family to get her to her doctor's appointments. My daughter had to ask my grandson to drive me over there and then wait and drive me back. To help other towns improve on transportation, the blueprint points to an example of an already successful program in Mercer County, a membership-based senior ride-sharing service. And the state says it's launching a $5.5 million grant program later this year dedicated to helping some of these ideas in the blueprint maybe come to life. Despite where she believes the state could improve to improve her life, Diaz says she's enjoying life in Teaneck. This is going to be nine years in, in August, yes. Wow. And I'm very happy here. In Teaneck, Jim Vassell, PIX11 News.